Hello, I am Chaudhary Mahmood Anwar and welcome again to my lecture. In this lecture, I will guide you how to conduct cross-level analysis or multi-level modeling in hierarchical linear modeling HLM7 software. This is uh, the data set we have already used in our previous video and we are going to use the same data set again for our cross-level modeling. This is the hierarchical linear modeling HLM7 software. I have already told you how to make an MDM file and configure the file. So I will open the file directly. This was the file, new demo. So the file is opened and you can see estimation settings. It's full maximum likelihood. And you can see the output setting, it's checked, print variance. So this was the null model I have uh, explained in my previous video. So now I will add the predictor variables to level one and level two. So this is level one. I will add extraversion as an uncentered variable. Uh, you can also add uh, group centered or grand center. Well, but for this example, I will use uncentered. Uncentered and gender add variable uncentered. So for level one, here's our level one equation. For level two, I will enter teacher's experience as uncentered variable. And I will also activate the random slopes B1 and B2 for beta 1 and for beta 2. Now I will uh, run the analysis. run the model shown. Just type here yes and enter. Here you can see that uh, the outcome of uh, the analysis is opened in web browser. This was the level one model equation. And this is the level two model equation. And this is the mixed model equation. First of all, you have to look at uh, reliability estimates. You can see that uh, intercept is a reliable, extraversion is reliable, but gender is not reliable. Reliability of gender is very low, 0.026. So we will see why it's low. Let's move to the final estimates of fixed effect. Um, here you can see that uh, intercept is significant. And the fixed effect of uh, extraversion is significant, and the fixed effect of gender is significant at 0 0.001 a value. But here you can see that uh, the random slope of extraversion is significant at 0 0.001, but the random slope for gender is not significant, it's greater than 0 0.500. Therefore, we can conclude that there is no slope variation of gender variable between the classes. So from the further analysis, uh, we have to remove this gender variable because it's insignificant.
let's come to our model again this is this is the equation for gender variable slope random slope so i will deactivate this agenda by clicking on u2 it is turned into gray it means that the random slope for gender is turned off now okay now i will add the teacher experience to analyze the cross level interaction between teacher experience and the extroversion therefore i will add the variable teacher experience uncentered and i will run the analysis again let's wait for the calculation here's the output of uh, hierarchical linear modeling 7 software for our second model this is the level 1 model equation this is level 2 model equation and this is level 3 model equation now you will see the final estimates of fixed effects this is our main point of concern So the cross-level interaction between teacher's experience and extroversion, gamma 1, 1, this one, and the coefficient is negative 0 0.024, and it's significant with the uh, degree of freedom 98 and it's uh, significant at uh, p-value less than 0.001 therefore based on this result we will conclude that there is a significant cross-level interaction between teachers experience and extroversion Thank you very much for watching this video.